All the talk today was on Olympic champion Yu Duabe, who returned to the international competition today for the first time since Tokyo, dispatching each of her opponents. The young Japanese star moved quickly into the final. There she would meet the current Olympic champion from the weight below, who has been making waves at under 52 kilograms. Distria Krasniki was also on fire, and the judo world is awaiting the final. The battle was an incredible spectacle. A moment of brilliance, followed by a swift transition into groundwork, settled the debate for now. Dr. Sander Korak, Education Director of the IJF awarded the two Olympic champions their medals. My brother and I had a very happy life with our family after we took gold at the Tokyo Olympics together, Abe said. Now we have a new goal, to win the gold medal at the Paris Olympics. We are very determined. Azerbaijan's Yashar Najafov made a statement at under 66 kilograms, with lightning-fast techniques on his way to the final. He met Italy's Matteo Pyrus, where a close Wazari score clinched his victory. Mr. Mohamed Maraja, Education and Coaching Director of the IJF, awarded the medals. For me, the best moment was the throw in the semi-final. It's my favorite and best throw. And in the podium, the podium, Najafov said. At under 57 kilograms, Krista Gucci returned to the arena. She is one of the most exciting Dudoku of the last few years. After a run of bad form, the Canadian put on display some of the most exciting and classical judo of the day. Etri Lipoteliani met her, but she couldn't stop Diguchi. She was awarded the gold medal by Mr. Sinisa Krajic, Secretary General of the Croatian Olympic Committee.